Hey guys, welcome back to another League of Legends video. Today we have kind of a cool video. We're playing Kha'Zix in the jungle. Uh, like usually in the jungle, Kha'Zix is definitely one of my favorites. But uh, this game, the reason I want to show you guys this game is because I have a cool back door at the end, which we'll get to. But I definitely think the ending is really, really nice. And we're going to do the usual clear with Kha'Zix that I know of at least kind of just go bot red and then Krugs and then kill Scuttle and then come over to Wolves maybe gank mid if uh, my mid laner did anything exciting uh, but yeah basically the beginning is like usual a little bit of farming the real exciting part is that is the ending of the game and also after this game I'm gonna be showing a few clips from an Arab game that I had with Misfortune that I got like a couple quadruples and a penta in just for fun kind of to show you how busted misfortune really is in aram uh in aram she's definitely busted so uh yeah i've got kind of all the stats up on screen just so uh f for those of you that actually do know what's going on can kind of tell i know a lot of you are probably going to be roasting me on doing this and doing that because i play kazakh strong which you're pro you're probably not wrong but you know what it's fine now the really really annoying part about this game is this shako I hate Shaco. It's, uh, he used to be an insta ban, but then I stopped insta banning him when I figured out that he wasn't very, very good. So, yeah. And this Zack, part of the reason I do good in this game is basically because this Zack just feeds. He kind of just jumps in and then just dies. It's kind of great. Uh, but, yeah. And this Annie is fairly unaware for a mid laner. She does get away from me a lot of times, like right here. I jumped on her. She probably should have been dead. Uh, but I just did a little bit not enough damage. Uh, but the Zoe did a good job handling it. Bye, you can see right there. She does She does end up hitting a lot of her bubbles uh, so she could get that little dingy in. But yeah, right there. Uh, Shaco was caught out by the Draven, which is pretty good. And here... It's actually a pretty bad fight. I called for that fight and it didn't turn out too good. I don't have it on video, but basically my entire team died. So that's not good. But, uh, yeah. So my scoreline isn't amazing, but trust me, uh, I do get an SS game. It'll go up very, very shortly here. Basically, right there is the start of my streak, that one cyan kill. From here on out, I'm going to be executing kids left and right, which you'll be seeing here. But, yeah, I think my build, I went Dusk Blade first. I don't know why. I I just like Dusk, uh, Dusk Blade. I think it gives me a good bit of damage. And here the Scion feeds. I don't know. This team on the, uh, my en enemy team, seems to like to feed for some reason, which is quite nice. Uh, but then again, I guess I'm not in the highest elo. But, yeah, just assassinate that enemy real quick. You know, no problems. Uh, but it'll it'll come here shortly. For now, I'm just kind of you know doing the Kazakh things, roaming around, going invisible, uh, KSing, sadly. But yeah, once again, the Zach kind of just jumps in, does his own thing, kind of just gets killed, or gets killed after all his bubbles go away. And I save my W just for that. That that's the one thing about Kazakh. He does have some a little bit of an AOE type thing. So especially with Zach's, once the four goops kind of get in the middle, you can just Q or not Q, you can just W all of them, which is really, really good. And we end up opening the Nexus basically, but uh, we just never managed to actually get that last final kill. Even here, this is going to be a push. We just get stopped. I don't know why. Somehow we always get stopped. And right here is a sad moment. For some reason, the Shaco was really fast. I ended up running, ulting, Eing. He still caught up to me, so his boots. I don't know what he did with his boots, but he's super, super fast. And here's kind of another clip of me a little bit inting. So I do get a kill, but basically I get greedy and I keep going and I get shut down. So only two deaths so far, but yeah. And then there's me, of course, doing my Kha'Zix thing. Assassinating Annie and then ulting out of that boy. And if you're wondering what my pattern for ul uh, uh, ultimating is, I upgrade my Q first and then my R and then my E and then my W. Now that's very, very debated whether that's right or not. That's just the way I do it. I know it's very popular to go um, upgrade your ultimate first, which is understandable because that invisibility does do good. And you can see now we're starting to lose fights a little bit, so the game is getting kind of scary. And here's the clip that I've been looking for. 
If you guys look at the mini map, the entire enemy team is mid lane around the river and my entire team is fighting them. So my team ends up losing and I see this and I know we're going to lose because I can't 1v5. So I come through straight up, go to the inhibitor, you know, slashing at it away. Now this is a very long clip because it takes for me. Uh, but they don't notice for quite a little bit. Soon the, Z the Scion is going to notice. But basically, one guy is dead on my team, the other two are low. Basically, no chances of defending. And, you know, I'm just backdooring here, hoping. But you can see the Scion finally noticed and is backing back. And he's actually going to fight me here for a little bit. But, you know, I just do a little E. And then do a little hop, skip, and jump. And final slash for the back door. You're really good. I was proud of this. I know it's probably not the best backdoor, but you know what? I'm proud of it. And now I'm going to show you guys the quick Misfortune ARAM game. This is mostly just clips, just because I think <clears throat> she's a little bit busted here. So you'll see a couple quadruples and a penta, which is really, really nice. So I know it's kind of hard to follow, but basically, there's a quick, quick quadra kill right there. They kind of just... It's, it's, I also have to give it to them, they kind of lined up for me, so it's not all pure skill. Uh, but through these quadras and pentas, they did kind of uh, boost me up a little bit. But you can see they're kind of, again, stacked up. I kind of just uh, W them right there. And boom, that guy's dead. And they're just going to kind of line up and bam. There's another kill. And they're all low health. Once again, grouped up, man. These guys don't learn. And then... Easy Quadra once again. I think my next clip is the Penta though. Maybe. Yeah, I think this I think this might be the Penta here. I think my W could have been placed a little bit better. But there's a double. There's a quadruple and there is my Penta kill. But guys, that's gonna be it for today. If you enjoyed, make sure to link in the comment as well as the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.